welcome back! If you didn't see part 1 of this vlog, you should click up here on the i where I'll put a link to the first video. If you have seen part 1, stay tuned to see more of my day on Granville Island. Let's get going! Outside waiting for Matthew to go put some more money in the parking because we've been here quite a while longer than we expected because we're having so much fun. Um, but I'm sitting watching a cute singer with a ukulele and she has quite an audience because she's really good. interesting to me how many people sit and film buskers with their phones and their cameras and then don't tip. I think if you're gonna sit and enjoy the music and enjoy the art that someone's created and then also record it and consume it in that way, I think you should at least tip a, a buck or two, whatever you can afford, but just something to say thank you for, you know, them providing that experience and you going away with something for you to keep. This is just a message to everyone. Propaganda. Um, go ahead and tip them if you enjoy their, their music and you sit there and, and especially if you record it. Food time! Matthew's hungry, so it's time to get some food. I'm gonna have a couple bites of whatever he gets. I think he's getting curry, but there's pretty much like, I'll show you in a minute, but there's pretty much oh, so many different things that you can get in the food court at the market. So many different cuisines from sushi to fish and chips to curry to, I think there's Mexican food, oh, ice cream, salads. Sandwiches, barbecue, lots of different things. There's a coffee shop. I'll show you some clips. We were gonna get fish and chips because they smell really good, but this is the line. It goes all the way back there. So we got curry. We found a small table outside and we're being serenaded with Nirvana. Curry time! I have some naan bread, I'm gonna try that first. Vindaloo chicken. Oh. This herring doll knows exactly where the food goes in the bins. I raced over here because that over there is the Blossom Barge, which is to celebrate 10 years of Vancouver's Cherry Blossom Festival. We have a, par a party boat as well, I think it's a parade. So that's pretty cool. It's gone all the way around False Creek. I think it went around Stanley Park and yesterday and it, there was a big festival for it and then it's gonna go back to its home which I think is near Crab Park. End of the Cherry Blossom Festival. Bye! It's so sunny! So on the other side of the market where you can sit outside, you can kind of see behind me, you can sit outside and eat your food right next to the food court side of the market. And then the other side, you can see downtown. We're really close, just across the water. So I'll show you some of that now. My favorite bridge again, Broad Bridge. You see the mountains in the distance. And there's Bramble Bridge. This little boat is a tiny ferry that you can get between various parts of downtown and Granville Island, False Creek, Olympic Village, those kind of places. Very helpful. There is one, I believe this one here, is wheelchair accessible. 
I haven't taken it myself yet in my wheelchair. I haven't taken it in years actually, so I don't know how it works exactly, but apparently it is. It's also, you can see, you can take your bike on it. This is a search and rescue uh, Coast Guard boat. I don't think I've ever seen one before, so this is kind of cool that it's coming down here. I wonder what they've been out doing today. This is kind of the start of tourist and summer season, even so things are ramping up around the city. Balloons! 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 <laughs> the aqua bus coming back the other way. It's quite full at this time of year. All winter it's been empty and now lots of people taking it. It's the very end of the market. There's a coffee shop at this end and you can sit and have your coffee and look out over the city. We're going inside the market now. Gonna have a quick roll through to go get some donuts. This is how you know it's tourist season because there are Canadian flags on everything. Please Donuts destination. If you can tell just how big these donuts are, but I'm gonna I'm gonna put my hand in here so maybe you can see. They are, my hand is in front, but it's way bigger than my hand. Still no time! Oh, it's still warm. Really warm and soft. Oh my god. There's the jam. It's raspberry jam, which is like classic. It's how it should be. Lee's is my favorite in Vancouver because it's old-fashioned, basic, classic donuts, nothing fancy, super fresh. Mm, you got sugar around your mouth. Mm. It's so warm and soft. Is the inside? Delicious. I can't stop licking my lips. I'm gonna enjoy this off camera now because it's weird about eating. <laughs> this cute sign, please be respectful with our llama. It's a cute llama. That's it for Granville Island. We're not gonna make it to Olympic Village today because we spent a little bit longer here today than I expected. Thanks for watching. I think I might do a quick haul when I get home and show you what I got at Paper Yard. Hello! Somebody missed me. Or not. <laughs> I'm home now. Uh, pretty exhausted. I did a little bit more than I planned to. Got kind of carried away showing you Granville Island, so that was pretty fun. Um, but now I'm home, I thought I would show you what I got at Papia, which I guess is called a haul, but I'm gonna call it my loot. <laughs> okay, let's see. This is the nice paper bag, you can see. which is important is the thing that I went to get was a notebook. So it's nice gray, which is my favorite. It's gray and black. Um, it has a nice cover, which as you can see has magnets. So it's just like cardboard paper, but it's really nice. Um, what's the brand? It's called Quadro. Okay, so yeah, it has a magnetic closure and it opens out like this. Ooh, comes with a little bookmark, which is nice, little cardboard bookmark. 
and a leaflet. How to use your bookmark, in case you can't figure that out. <laughs> oh, I got one that's a bit banged up, that's a shame. Whoops, always check your merchandise <laughs> before you buy it. Okay, that's okay, I'll probably bang it up myself a bunch. It lies nice and flat, as you can see. It's a stitched bound lined paper. It's probably more detailed than you really care about notebooks, but I really like them. <laughs> I really like the lines in this. And there you can see the magnetic closures. You can see how that works. It's just like a thin card. That's nice. That's one little notebook for making notes. I've also got a cute little spiral bound notebook for making lists for things so that I can remember what I'm saying in videos so it's not so much, so it's a bit more planned and not as like this where I'm like, what am I going to say? I'm trying to think what I'm going to say. But it folds out flat and it's blue, which is my favorite color. It's the stuff I didn't need to buy. Got these. I'm so excited. I'm gonna put two of these on my wheelchair, I think, and then the other one on my fake leather jacket to go with my naturalist and Parts Canada badges, so that, that'll be nice. Um, Vancouver neighborhood badges, let me show you. There you go. Look at that. These are so cool. I like this one, the little triangle. I think I'm gonna put um, these two on the back of my wheelchair, on the seat, probably. I think they're kind of cool. And then I think I'll put this one, my jacket. I think they're really some of the coolest Vancouver things I've seen in a really long time, so that's kind of nice. I'm pretty excited about those. A silly little thing because it was so cute and they had loads of different colors and I was gonna get blue because blue is my favorite color, but this is an eraser and I don't need an eraser that's shaped like a hedgehog. I got this guy to go, I have a shelf where I collect kind of naturalist based things, so like little twigs with lichen on them and little pieces of moss and feathers. I have some bird skulls, things like that. And I'm gonna put this, this little friend with them. He's green so he goes with them. I think he looks like a hedgehog covered in moss, or like a mossy pine cone. But you can see him here. Look at that. So cool. These are imported from Japan, I think. These were so cute. They had, I think you saw it, you'll see in my video, I, they had uh, monkeys and they had a koala too, and all sorts of different colored hedgehogs. And I got the green one. So he'll go nicely on my shelf. One day I think I'll make a video about my collections and you can see I'm kind of. I love making collections about things that I really like, so yeah. Okay, I'm pretty tired now. I'm gonna go watch a movie or maybe some TV. I hope you enjoyed this vlog. Let me know what you think in the comments below if if you like this kind of video and maybe I'll, I'll do more if I get better at talking to the camera. I think slowly throughout the day I got a little bit better and a little bit less awkward and more used to vlogging around people and not getting too embarrassed. So yeah, give it a thumbs up if you like it.